Ready Silly to brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. All right, Gene. Get ready in Chamesh. Alba, Shalosh, Stein. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at. Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at. Where my mom's at podcast. <laughs> With Christina P. Ah. Uh. Uh oh. You know what's about to happen right now? We had Leanne Kreischer on last week, and now the B Man's here. I don't fuck with homo thugs. <laughs> <laughs> that's a line in that song. You know oh. that? Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite songs. DMX, ever. he yeah. recorded this. It cost us half a million dollars. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. It's the, worth every penny. The audience loves it. The uh, empty out clips and show no love. <laughs> How you going? How am I going to? Oh, it, it's really. Can I tell you why? You're I, such a good rapper. Can I, I can't yeah, believe you. Yeah, I didn't. spit bars. I spit bars. I spit bars. Can I tell you? I I had a theory one time that I said to Tom. I, I miss I miss being around Tommy so much. Yeah. Because you could bounce ideas off of him, and if they were really ridiculous, you could see it in his eyes. And I was like, I know what you're I, talking about. I remember telling him, <laughs> I don't think I don't think people should read. And he was like, Excuse me. And I was like. I think sometimes people are so stupid that when they get information, they misuse it. <laughs> yeah. So if you have so, because I'm reading a book right now, I should not be reading. <laughs> What's the book? It's, Mind Kampf? No. <laughs> what is it? That's it's a Mein Kampf. <laughs> Stop it. What does Mein Kampf mean? Uh, My struggle. Have, did you know he didn't grow up in Jerusalem? Wait, Nadav? Nadav? Yeah. Why did you think he did? Because he's Jewish? Not all Jews no, grew up in... No, he did grow up in Jerusalem, didn't he? He did grow up. <laughs> he did grow up. I did not grow up. He did up. not. He grew up in but Israel. His, he's Israeli. His parents are from Israel. Wait, do you have other towns in Israel? It's not just Jerusalem? <laughs> other towns in See, Israel? See, this is why I shouldn't read. This is why I shouldn't read. I'm reading a book about <laughs> World War II. And I, yeah. You really are? I am reading a book oh, about I, World War II. How did I know? <laughs> why are you reading? What, what um, led oh, you to that? I'm reading about the Pacific theater by the way don't know why they call it theater well, can you find that? out why they call it theater <laughs> the pacific theater um yeah what's a pacific theater i don't they called it i don't know why they called it the Is pacific it? theater i think that's where the war happened oh. i didn't realize that ocean pacific ocean theater yeah is that and, like a british term for it or something by the way we fucked <sighs> up japan like, i know like i know the but bomb? There, there was not even a it wasn't even really a war like yeah their leadership was so bad they sent these kids, these kids, they were 16 years old, to an island in like Chichijima, Iwo Jima, um, Midway. They just sent them there with no provisions, no nothing, no plan of attack, no nothing. Just like, hey, sit there. And then we just bombed the fuck out of those islands. But what's crazy, and this is why I shouldn't read books, is <laughs> I get obsessed with I get obsessed with the fact that the colonels <laughs> ate the livers of our soldiers, -uh. of our POWs. And that at one point, and by the way, this is why I don't read all of it. I just catch a little bit and then yeah. go, I see a little bit of an, in a paragraph and then I hang my hat on that <laughs> thought. And I'm like, they're fucking like. You they, don't need to read all the book. I You just read the, the preface and then that tells you everything. Then let me tell you everything you need to know about this war. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we were as bad as they were. This no, is, by the way, this is not no, possible because they bombed Pearl Harbor. Oh, and, and then, then we bombed. And then we were like, Nagasaki. you animals. And then we just bombed Tokyo. And by the way, they were like, we were like, these are strategic bombs. They were not. There was no computers then. They just were like, open the door. Gone. <laughs> gone. <laughs> yeah, just gone. gone. And, uh, and, then, and then the other thing is these Australian dudes were in, I think they were in Guam or in Midway. And they were, and they found some American soldiers all just hacked up. And what these guys would do, the Japanese were so hungry, they didn't have any food. Oh my God. Burn. They would cut off an arm of one of our POWs because they didn't want the bot the meat to spoil, then throw him in a hole and he just lived there. And then they come back. And then back, make kimchi out of and it. And then they cut the other arm off. Oh. And then they come back and cut a leg off. And this guy's like, dude, <laughs> fucking kill me. By the way, I'm not certain that's accurate. Because I start reading and then my imagination takes yes. off. Yes. Wait, but do you know what is accurate? What? Did you know that Santa Claus is Jesus's brother? <laughs> I did know that. 
Yeah, it's historically accurate. And you, know, I, you know, I told the <laughs> girls that, right? <laughs> well, on the last episode of Where My Mom's At. I told, you... I'm like, in my head, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I told my girls this one time. Uh, I know, because you your wife ratted Jesus you out on the last brother. episode. Listen, I've got a lot of things here that you're that Leanne Kreischer ratted you out on, and I'm going to confront you on every one of them. The first one being that you apparently lie to your children the same way I do. These are the similarities between us. I can't wait. I can't wait <laughs> to find out the lies that she told you I've told them because we got fucked up in a lie one time. Why? Wait, first of all, I, you don't think that telling the kids that Santa that no. Santa's Jesus brother and, and the reason they get presents is because the, uh, the Jews killed, killed Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> wait, it, let's go through this lie first before we go to the other lie. So, but you don't... How old are the girls when you told them that? Oof, there was a bunch of <laughs> there was a bunch of like of like of like thin ice around Santa for a long time because they, they I think they figured it out pretty quick and then I had to like they have a shout out to my my daughter has a friend named I think and her parents split up and was like real quick was like yo there's no Santa <gasps> to Georgia and Santa's like I think her name's oh definitely added her name out by the way but definitely added Bleep. her name out yeah. <laughs> Um, she was like, there's no Santa. And I said, oh, honey, Santa doesn't um, visit parents that can't commit. <laughs> and she was like, what? And I was like, it's too complicated. He didn't know where he's going to be. And the parents didn't have the, they didn't, couldn't stay married. So he's not going to, and she was like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that does make sense. Cause yeah. yeah, you can't go to two houses, you greedy bitch. Then the old, the other one was, um, was <laughs> when they were older, they were older. George was like, I think Did we, you say older, 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 older. I have a, older older odor and they're odor i by the way took a pool shower for you today thanks buddy can i um, smell you uh, i smell really great wait the, go on continue the story so santa can't go to two houses so how did it get to santa is jesus's brother and because the jews killed jesus which is historically inaccurate i i, I always thought it was the romans that killed it was the romans yeah it was the, the jews set him up it, yeah. they, <laughs> they didn't no, they did not have a hand in it okay <laughs> they weren't like yeah what are you guys doing <laughs> are you serious oh, up there you're gonna put him i'm seriously okay <laughs> the uh by the way I'm, by the way i'm <laughs> there there was uh georgia said georgia said dad what's the story on santa and you could tell when the girls had teamed up for something okay like you could tell when they were like they're suspicious yeah and i go what do you mean and they're like what's the story on santa i go he's santa <laughs> And they're like, how did he become Santa? Oh, fuck. And That's I, a good thing to prepare for because I, I don't know the answer to that. St. Nicholas? St. Nicholas? Yeah, they're all, there's a bunch of like... Saints. Yeah, Christopher from Kringle. Sweden. There's, I'm looking at oh Leanne. Oh my God, do you remember the black chocolate Krampus in Amsterdam? That you... Yes. And then I took it home and I got stopped in customs. They were like, what's this? And they pulled up like <laughs> this chocolate Krampus that I had. And they're like, what were you doing in Amsterdam? And I was like, I'm just being racist. I don't know. But anyway. Chocolate Krumpus. See if you can. It's so terrifying. So, so I had. Anyway, go ahead. I had listened to. I had listened to an NPR one time about oh, so a dad who took it too far with Santa. Okay. By the way, I, I took it really fucking Wait, hold far on. with Santa. So, so, but, but, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We haven't. We haven't. We haven't scratched the surface right now. Well, I want to scratch it. Leanne told you just a little bit. I'm going to tell you stuff where you're actually going to go. I think you might be a bad parent. Really? Yeah. So this is the first step. Is the girls say, what's the story on Santa? And yeah. I say, what do you mean? They're like, the, like how did he how become did he Santa? Comes, yeah. And Leanne looks at me and she's like, honey. And I thought she just threw it to me because I'm creative. And I was like, and I'm quick on my feet. And I was like, wait, are you talking about Santa? And they're like, yeah. I go, you mean <laughs> Jesus's brother, Santa? And they're like, Jesus and Santa were brothers? I was like, fuck <laughs> yeah. I go, listen, after the Jews killed Jesus, <laughs> Santa was like, fuck that. I got to bounce, right? So he went up to the North <laughs> Pole hung out with a bunch of little people and then they were like santa i don't want to freak you out but the jews killed your brother and he's like fuck that i'm killing all the jews and they're like we can't we can't there's too many santa there's too many he's like you're right you're right i'm talking crazy this is what we're gonna do <laughs> on my brother's birthday we're gonna have every kid that didn't kill my brother a present and that's how we got santa and they're like oh that makes sense that works out that actually is a really good story bert i'm gonna get this footage for you because i have foot it now that now it gets worse right so then that christmas they're really suspicious. I couldn't tell you when this was, but you'll see the footage. And they're like, we want to get footage of Santa. I just got a GoPro. And, and, and they were like, can we? I see the girls on the DL set the GoPro up on the mantle. <gasps> By the way, this gets 
really bad. What? This gets, so they're going to bust you. So how do you? Oh, shit. So they, but they're fucking idiots. They, they don't even yeah. charge the GoPro. They don't have an oh. external battery. They don't even put a fucking 128 gigabyte stupid. card in it. They didn't even check the card to see if there was anything Chicks on it. Chicks are fucking stupid. They just put right? it up there. They're two mouth breathing ninnies and they just hit record like it, like that's going to get them. I yeah. go, hold on, guys. Yeah. What are you guys doing? And they're like, on the DL, they're like, nothing. And I go, you guys trying to catch Santa? And they're like, we just want to see if it's you and mom. I go, okay. Uh. I said, well, put it up there. But listen, if you're going to do that, let's get an external battery so it can run all night. And they're like, okay. <laughs> I go, and let's get a big card so we can record all night. And they're like, so wait, you're really not Santa? And I was like, no, I mean, I'll put it up there. And if you guys check the footage and if, if presents show up, they show up, whatever. So I put it up there. I record, right? I leave it. We all uh, we have a few cocktails. The girls go to bed. <laughs> I go to bed. I wake up at 2 in the morning and I walk in. Dogs are laying on the couch. It's, this is, I will you're send you the footage. Crazy. I will I send you the footage. You this is perfect. Me. Priscilla's on the couch. I walk Aww. in. She lifts her head up, puts her head exactly down in the same place. I walk over to the fucking, walk over to the mantle. I get underneath the mantle. I have bells with me and I have a white mitten and a flashlight. I get underneath the mantle. I jump down so the bells ring, right? I flashlight around. Priscilla sees the flashlight, looks. Flash ride to Mona. Then I look and I do the flashlight up to the GoPro. Then I take the white mitten, like the white mitten, and I grab the GoPro. I turn <gasps> it around. I turn it around. And then I jingle all around and start messing with presents. And then I go about my way. I got to go off and I do my thing, right? But I leave it in there. You're so smart. The so next smart. Christmas dinner, we're over at my sister's. And I'm with my dad and my mom. And the girls go, Dad, upload the GoPro footage. Let's see if we got Santa. And I was like, guys, I can guarantee you Santa's magic. He's definitely not going to get caught in this video. And they're like, Dad, just upload it. My dad's like, what happened? I go, these idiots put a GoPro up to see if they could catch Santa. My dad's like, oh, I think they're going to be surprised at who they caught. And I was like, yeah. So I put the footage in and it rolls. It rolls for three hours. You know, from when they put it down, three hours. It's three hours of footage. And I go, guys, you got nothing. You got absolutely nothing. And then Isla, like a detective, goes, scroll to the end. So I scroll to the very end and the camera's in a different spot. And they're like, oh, the camera's in a different spot. And I go, oh my God, we got to scroll and find the place where it moved. I scroll back. I find it. And what I had done is I had spliced me walking out seamlessly. <laughs> I had cut it out and I had just married the two together. Uh. And I scroll and all you see is darkness, 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 jingle, jingle, flashlight, glove, Brilliant. flip around. And for some reason, I don't know why, but when I move the flashlight around, I mean, the, it proves there is a Lord in this world. The flashlight made a shadow that looked like an elf. <gasps> and the girls were like, it's an elf! Oh my God. And even my dad's like, you got a video of Santa? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm looking at my dad. He's like, he, they get up and he's like, how the fuck did you do that? And I go, dad, I just edited the video. And he looks at me and he goes, oh buddy, you're fucking your kids up. <laughs> really? I said, really? And he goes, that's not healthy, man. That's oh, really not healthy. Because I, 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 in my opinion, you just created like an ideal childhood. Like I, if my dad had done that for me, I would have felt so loved. So every and night, cared for. Did, did she tell you about this? <laughs> every night on New Year's Eve. Oh my God. My godfather my godfather my godfather p would call me and on christmas eve he'd call me i'd call him earlier i sent him a text with every child that's in the room at mm. our party and what they wanted for christmas i talked to their parents what they wanted for christmas and then he'd call me and i'd leave my phone on the counter i'm gonna I'm, i want you to experience this the way i Aww. want you to experience this the way the kids did okay? okay hold on one second let's see if we can get pete this is my godfather p Hey Pete, yes, Pete, sir. I'm doing I'm doing a podcast, and I wanted I wanted I wanted you to call me uh, like it's Christmas Eve. Would you call me like it's Christmas Eve? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. call. Do yeah, this? yeah, yeah. Right now, can you just call me right back? Like <laughs> like all the kids are here, and it's Christmas Eve. Okay, is there anything special I need to know? Uh, her name's Christina, and she wants a BMW. <laughs> BMW. <laughs> okay. How old is Christina? Christina's 44. 44. <laughs> okay, call me back. Call me back. Call me back. Okay, oh bye. My God, I so, love this guy. So, so He's my so phone, funny. my phone would be on the on the table in front of all the kids. Okay. Okay. I call my uncle Pete and okay, I go, Pete, can you call me and and get ready? Okay. This is what would happen every Christmas Eve. All right. Oh my God. I'm You're so gonna excited. fucking. I'm, I'm getting chill bumps. 
This was so much fucking fun. <laughs> you have no idea. I gotta do this stuff to my kids. And by the oh. way, he... <gasps> it says Santa Claus. It says Santa Claus. Oh, it says so Santa cool. Claus. Okay. And then oh. I go, I go. Hold on, hold on, kids. This can't be. I go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, Santa. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, so it's been a long time, a long time. How's everything down there in LA? It's doing good, Santa. <laughs> well, tell me, what are y'all up to now? Bro? I'm hanging out with my friend Christina. Christina. <laughs> Ah, and tell me what is uh, Christina looking for for Christmas? Well, I'll let you talk to her, Santa. Hold on. Oh my God! <laughs> Hi, Santa. I can't believe it's you. <laughs> Okay, you bet it is, Christina. Do you, 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 bet it is. Are you going to bring me what I want for Christmas? Well, now that all depends, you know. But uh, <laughs> I, you can't, you know, this virtual world, let's pretend you're sitting on my lap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Santa drinks on New Christmas Uh-oh, Eve. Uh-oh, I don't know, Santa. <laughs> tell me, Christina, what is it you'd like for Christmas, please? Uh, I'd like a car. All right, and um, what are we looking for in this car? <laughs> good, good. You're amazing, Pete. You fucking That's rock. Amazing. You rock, Thank Pete. You. I love you. <laughs> I'll call you later, Pete. Thanks, buddy. Can, can so, Pete do my kids yeah, too? Oh, it it was. That I is mean, so. Will you so, do it for my kids, Bert? Can you do a Santa? Do yes. it. Yeah, yeah. Will you do it oh for Ellis? God. He, he oh, totally would love it. Oh, I've done it. I think I've done it for Ellis. I've done it for Ellis when Tom texted me and he goes, "Hey, man." Give you give you a heads up. You're bringing treats unless oh, yeah. he's acting like a bad boy. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was like, "Is Ellis in there?" <laughs> you know, it was funny. We did it one Christmas. Aww. I mean, this was I, I was I enjoyed Christmas so much. Yeah, we did it one Christmas where one of the kids uh, in our in our group is a little is a little bit high strung. I wouldn't say he's on the spectrum, but he's like he definitely is a very literal kid, and 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 things can fuck him up a little bit, and and he's Jewish. And Santa called. It was like the first Christmas, and Santa called, and his his face dropped, and he was like, and he knew what he wanted, and he looked at his dad, and he goes, Dad, I need to speak to you outside. And he took his dad outside, and he goes, hold on. If this is real, we need to change our religion. <gasps> and his dad's like, oh, fuck. And he was like, listen, <laughs> buddy, you can't ruin this for the other kids. That's Bert's uncle. And he was like, okay, okay. Okay, I was freaking out. I was really freaking out. I mean, imagine being Jewish and then finding out the Santa's real. Oh, well, there was a Jewish kid in my class that ruined it for all of us. Oh, this God. This kid in third grade told everybody, he's like, no, I saw the presents. They're not real, whatever. I'm like, you don't even celebrate Christmas. How do you know? Yeah. You fucking bitch. We, we took it. I took it so far that, um, and I, I, I loved it. And the day that we told them that there was no Santa, it <laughs> broke my heart. Broke mm. my heart. Georgia, I think, was in fucking high school. Seriously? Like, I mean, well, I, don't, I don't remember how old she was. They were, well, I'll take this back. They were still in the same bedroom. I think we were renovating our house. So it was, she wasn't in high school. She was probably going into middle school or going into middle school. It was is still that, old Is that as abnormally? Fuck. It was very old. Because what, what age were you supposed to find out that? You're supposed, like fucking seven, I think. Oh, seriously? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, Chris Larson, you're normal. What age did you find out, Santa? Oh, I don't remember, oh, but I'm going to guess probably like seven, eight. Oh, so I only have like two more Christmases with Ellis. No, not when you have fucking Santa Claus right here. I will fucking go. Let's do it. I will go okay. full tilt We're with gonna go my hard. girls because my girls loved it. When I when know, we told them what so happened much. was Isla lost a tooth and she's putting, she's writing a note. The girls were in the same room because we were renovating the house. They were in the same room and she's writing the note and she slides the note. Leanne and I have been drinking. She slides <laughs> the note under the pillow. Georgia is up reading a book. Isla's in her bed, slides under the pillow, and just real quick turns around and looks at my wife and goes, looks at Leanne and goes, are you the tooth fairy? <gasps> and Georgia, I mean, like the book lowered and her eyes peeked over the book like, mm. oh, fuck. Mm. She asked. And Leanne was caught off guard and she goes, I am the tooth fairy. <gasps> and Isla's like stopped, swallowed it, and goes, I thought so. Aww. And then she was like, listen, I am, she was like, you know, I, I just want, I wanted you guys to have the greatest childhood and I really loved being the tooth fairy. It's been so much fun. And then they're like, okay. And then they're sitting there and all of a sudden Isla stops and looks and goes, are you guys Santa Claus? No. <laughs> Fucking Georgia May. Aww. To the, to on my deathbed, I'll remember this look. Books back up. 
lowers down and eyes are like. <gasps> and Leanne looks no. at me and I go, okay. I go, I just want to tell you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to cry. It was so, it broke my heart because that was the end. That was the yeah. end. And I go, mom and I are Santa Claus. And Georgia, I love this kid so much. She just goes, I knew. And you could tell she didn't know. You could tell she didn't know. And she was like, I was like, listen, it was the biggest joy of our lives to be your Santa Claus every year. The look on your faces when you came out. And we're like, and what's beautiful about this now is that you guys can be on our team and we'll do it for And I don't even know if was born, Cotty's kid. But they love it. And so if I could, if I could turn my new Christmas Eve into me and the girls coming down mm. and fucking with your kids yeah. i would love yeah, it yeah, yeah. i will fucking i will get a custom i'll put on <laughs> weight just to get this done <laughs> well look as we're recording this it's a week before christmas my husband's coming home this weekend so he's not really able to do stuff it would be great oh. i've got all the gifts I'm, i have to wrap them do you have any elf on the shelf recommendations oh we took that Hard as fuck. Like, well, that's what I'm saying. Give me some because I'm doing it every night and I'm putting them way the fuck up so it doesn't seem like. Oh, you're doing even. it by yourself too. Yeah. Did you ever have those morning ones where you're like, yes. oh shit, scramble, yeah. scramble. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Else in the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah. We, we, I, we had a blast with it and the girls loved it. They called him Willie. Did Leanne talk about this? No. Oh, we loved it. We, I loved it because, you know, I used to I do those what it. will the maid things. Oh yeah, and so yeah, that I was fucking great. the creativity. I would take it to the next fucking level yeah. and have Willie reading books. Have him. <laughs> I would. I. It was. He was drinking a beer one time. <laughs> I loved it, man. I miss it. I miss that. I miss that part about being a parent. Yeah. It was so the much magic. fun. Creating the magic is so much fun. And and they every believed. morning Ellis wakes up and he's like, oh, "Where's Elfie?" And then he runs through the house. Is he in the basement? And then he runs down and then he finds an Elfie, Elfie. And he flew up there. He goes, don't touch him. It kills the magic. It you does. can't touch him. And I go, well, I don't touch him. He flies. I can't even reach up there. How could he get up there? <laughs> it's so cute. He's so excited for Elfie. I wonder if like because we're comics and we also, there's a part of us that's holding on to oh. the, like being a child. And because our brain, our brain, if our brain doesn't work that way, we don't work. I wonder if our I wonder if I'm fucking my kids up, A, eh? but then I wonder if, like, no. we take it to the next level because we have nothing but free time. Uh, yeah, and I fucking love it. <laughs> so um, I've told your wife the story. Ellis was watching Home Alone, and then he got obsessed with bad guys. And the other night he goes, Mommy, uh, can the bad guys get into the house? And I go, no, they can't because Mommy's very powerful. She can shoot lasers from her eyes. And I can fight the bad guys. But it's only when you go to sleep, so you have to go to sleep. You can't see me do it. It only works when you're sleeping. <laughs> so now he's like, Mommy, how do you shoot lasers from your eyes? Can you show me? Oh. I'm like, no. Oh. Yeah. I would be curious what percentage of parents lie to their kids. <laughs> well, we can find out. Go ahead, send me your email where my mom's at at gmail.com. Yeah, do you lie to your kids? And then also, do, I remember Leanne being like, we, you know, at some point we got to be honest with them. And I was like, about what? She's like, you know, about like, sexuality and drugs and i was like no oh, you can no, i was not. like i'm not gonna be fucked i go in the in this production of honesty you're gonna be playing the town whore <laughs> fucking yeah your mom was catching dick left and right <laughs> until the hero the christian hero showed up and saved her well i tell my kids uh, smoking's bad you're a dumb dumb drugs are bad Everybody goes to college and graduates from college. Other College is the most fun you're ever oh, going to have. It's the best, which I believe it is. Much like you. First of all, I took the five-year plan. I wasn't exactly the seven-year Van yeah. Wilder, <laughs> but I did do five years, and I loved the ivory tower. I wish I could fucking be in college right now. It's the best. Here's what, the I problem, tell them everything. that We do everything right. Here's the problem with what's going on drugs. with us. Yeah, I know. Never. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, there's so much that's going on in our family that we're not talking about. Sure. That is like it's just it's just like I think I, I think I got meaning to a place, you and I won't talk about it on no, this podcast. No, me and Leanne. No, I won't talk about anything about. I just I just feel like I was such an open book with my kids about everything that oh. I I started to draw boundaries where I was like I was like a little maybe what do you, like what do you regret uh, what, what them I, knowing about you that you wish you wouldn't I, have no, told them? Uh, I don't. I don't like. I remember one time they were like, "Do you have you guys ever smoked?" weed I'm gonna, i say no i said no and leanne and then they're like mom has and i was like what and then i was like mom throws up when she does cocaine and i was like oh my God. <laughs> i would never tell them that. i go mom's never done cocaine and they're like how do you know i go i know guys and then leanne's like i throw up if i smoke pot 
Yeah. And they'll throw up too. And I was like, oh, that's a good angle. But Leanne was Leanne was always honest. I was like, I, I remember telling the girls, and this is I, how many lies I've told my kids. It's <laughs> astronomical. Here's the next title of your your book. Lies your I've told book. my kids. Uh, I remember telling it's them. It's a great title. We were wine tasting. Leanne's buzzed. She's talking about marijuana. My dad's eating marijuana at the time. <laughs> my sister and my other sister are like, oh, we smoke it all the time to relax. And I said, I've never done it. And you're, my daughters are like, for real? And I said, yeah, I've never done it. And if you guys wait until you're 21, I'll smoke it for the first time with you then. And they're like, <laughs> they're act. like, promise? See, and that's I go, how stupid I am. I would have done the same tactic. And then, <laughs> and then, shit. I'm in New York. I'm shooting. Something's burning. We're doing, we're gang shooting like 20 of them or whatever. And Big J Oakerson comes over early in the morning. And I end up getting high with Big J in the morning, right? <laughs> and, I, and Leanne calls. And she's like, She's like, hey, how are you doing? And I go, good. And she goes, listen, I'm worried about you. Are you partying? I said, no, actually, I'm not. I mean, I was like, actually, let me take that back. I just wrapped and I had a drink with Ari on the late show. I go, I take that back. I got, I smoked pot with Big J on the early show. And then I had a drink. And Leanne goes, you're on speakerphone <gasps> with your children. And Georgia, God, I fucking, I do love this kid so much. Fuck. She goes, <clears throat> How long has this been going on? <gasps> and I was like, oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fucking broke my heart. Broke my heart. So, like, that kid, I, you know, for anything that ever, like, anything that ever goes wrong with that kid, that's my fault. That kid. Georgia? Because that kid's the sweetest. Isla is like a fucking rock. You can yeah. roll her down the hill, she's going to be fine. Yeah. But Georgia is, was, is the most sweet and vulnerable and honest and open-hearted, loving child and I lied to her so much. Like, mm -hmm. I lied so much. Like, I lied s about every... I like mean... Like what? What are you ashamed of that you feel... Oh, my God. Like... I have one that makes me my skin crawl. Well, good. Tell it. I love it. We come back from a, uh, someone, someone's house, and the girls have been fighting, and they've been kicking each other in the vagina in the pool. <laughs> and, uh, and, and Typical girl yeah. stuff. And so Leanne, Leanne's done. They're, like, fighting, still fighting. In the car ride home... In their bunk beds, this is around the time, right after the time when uh, Georgia was in like sixth grade, maybe maybe seventh grade, and they're in their bunk beds. We were, it was when we were renovating the house. They're in their bunk beds, and Leanne goes, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what to do to get you guys to be friends. You guys are at each other's throats, and I go, I don't know what to do. Dad? And I just go, maybe we'll send them to boarding school. And Georgia, real quick, is like, Hold on. And I go, no, maybe that's what you... And I, I, I lean in. No, by the way, we didn't have money for boarding school at the time, let alone did we have a boarding school lineup, let alone... Yeah. But I'm on the phone and I'm like, hold on, let me call the boarding school. <laughs> Santa. And I was like, hey, do you guys have room for two <laughs> kids? And then... George, and it, by the way, it's nine o'clock at night. What fucking boarding school is open? <laughs> this fucking idiot. Maybe it's international. But Georgia, German. Georgia is so like immediately like, <laughs> hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. I can love her. Like, Aww. like, don't, don't, don't do this, Dad. And I'm like, Georgia, stop. Because it doesn't work if you if you don't break both of them, right? Uh, and Isla's like this. Isla's smiling, going, "Send me upstate, motherfucker. <laughs> Send, roll, put me in the gray goose. <laughs> like, literally, does not give a fuck." <laughs> and so uh. we got to break Isla. But in order to break Isla. You're you're hurting Georgia. Like you're right. like you got to. Iowa's like, threshold is greater than Georgia's. That's, yeah. that's trouble. And the, and we're you got to break them at the same time. And yeah. Isla's not breaking. Isla's literally folding laundry into a bag. Like what time did they pick <laughs> us up? And you're like, fuck. And now you're trying to think of things that are going to bother Isla. So she's like, oh wait, don't do this. Yeah. But it's destroying Georgia. Georgia's uh. up in the bed going, hold on, hold on, one second. Wait, they, we leave in the morning? Like oh god, ah, I'm not ready for this. I don't want to go. Wait, we're not coming back until Christmas. I'm not gonna see you until Christmas. And Isla's like, "That's cool." So, <laughs> what time do we come back on Christmas? I mean, it wasn't until we told Isla that you had to shower every day that she was like, "Oh, oh. fuck, <laughs> we're showering every day." And now Georgia's a fucking puddle, right? She's yeah. like, she's freaking out. The next morning, mm, this is like horrible parent stuff. The next morning, we tell them, "Listen, we're." We're not going to send you to boarding school, but you guys got to learn to love each other. And they're like, fine. And George's like, thank God. Thank you so much. Mm. And Isla's like, okay, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> and the next morning, Georgia, I forget how bad it was. Mm. And Georgia comes up before school, gives me the biggest hug. 
and goes, please don't send me to boarding school. I will be better. I promise. And I'm oh, like, oh my God. Gosh. I was like, Rawr. it makes my heart hurt right now when I think about it. And I was like, oh, yeah, we weren't going to send you to boarding school. Liquid Ivy is helping me with my New Year's resolution to exercise more and stay hydrated. You know, especially when you work out in these cold months, it's hard to tell if you're sweating. <laughs> but Liquid IV helps you hydrate and, and it's easy. And listen to this. One serving of Liquid IV provides the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water alone. Isn't that amazing? It contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. That is so good. It tastes great too. It has the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium. It delivers water and nutrients right into your bloodstream. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water can give you as much hydration as two to three bottles of plain water. Liquid IV is available nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code WMMA at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code WMMA at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code WMMA. And then, by the way, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, you know, cause Leanne is like, Leanne, Leanne's so good with fucking, fucking, Leanne, I wish Leanne talked half as much. She goes, she goes, so, so I was just hearing from my fucking hairstylist or whatever. They said that this pandemic's going on for a full year. We won't be out of the house. We're not going to be out of lockdown for a full year. And both the girls melt down. And I say to George, I go, hey, listen, if that's real, if you're not going to be going back to school for another full fucking year, mm -hmm. I said, I go, I don't want to ask you this because I think I know your answer. Would you like to go to boarding school? So that you can have a regular life. Mm. Like I go, this isn't fair. And she was actually, she goes, actually, I'd be interested in looking into that. And I was like. But where? Like Australia where Ojai, there's no COVID? Send her to Ojai. Oh. Like just, it just it, it, the thing that sucks is I would not see her. I would not. It really sucks. But I don't know what's worse. Like I love having her home alone. Yeah. Like I love, I love tonight we're watching Tenet. Like I, I, mean, I love I love going, what are we doing tonight? Like, and, and then making dinner and then everyone gets on the couch. We watch a movie. Her and I love fuck around. Yeah, we make, so we make fun. jokes. I love it so much. But this is fucking her up. She's 16. She no. should be out with her friends. She, yeah, last night she goes, can I go to the house? And I was like, no. And I was like, you know the answer is no. Like, you can't, we're not allowed to leave the house. No. And then she just snaps off. She goes, you do podcasts. What's the difference? No, you're and making I was like, a living. And I go, baby, that's paying our bill. Like, we got to need to make money. To do podcast, she goes. I know, but I'm a, we're talking about this bubble. You, you see Tommy. I go. Tommy's in the hospital. She goes. Who are you with today? I go. Whitney. And she was like, "That's not any better." And then she goes, "We go to this house." And I go, "Because mom and dad, my my mom and dad are there. They're in a bubble. We're in a bubble." I go, "Baby, you can't go to your friend's house." She's like, "It's just not fair." And I was like, "None of this is fair." And then in my head, and then that night, I'm like, last night, I'm like, I was like, "Do, do you just want to go to boarding school?" Because I, I would hate for it. I don't wouldn't want it. But I would want Ugh, I want her to be sixteen normal. is so pivotal. Six, it's yeah. like it's so important to be socializing and getting in with your peers and learning those things. It is a big deal and you're gonna it'll retard her development. However She hasn't had her first kiss yet. Oh. Think about that. But here's the deal, man. Just consider this. She goes to the same school that I did, which is a single sex school. Yeah. That alone is holding back her quote development with boys and such. Thank God. But here's Exactly, because yeah. here's the good news, my man, is that college, so fucking what? You do it yeah. in college. So yeah. like all those things I didn't learn in high school because I wasn't with boys, I just learned in college. And well, we were older and wiser. Here's the thing is that it was, I, I mean, like I don't think, but, but I, whatever is, hey, I'm, I'm all for the Me Too movement, but whatever happened mm. with feminism, it fucking, I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm living in it. I'm living in the middle of feminism. God, I just hear the emails rolling in. I'm living in the middle of feminism and it's yeah. making me fucking crazy is that because I'm a man, sometimes I, I've been doing, I've been mansplaining so much my entire <laughs> life that I just fall into it naturally. And then all of a sudden I'm getting lit up left and fucking right by my wife and daughters. <laughs> like lit, I was making a joke the other day. I actually said this in it up. I was making a joke. <laughs> our dogs, our dogs. Is Wait, a, what are you, what do you mean when you're getting lit up for mansplaining? And, 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 like colleges. I'm, they're like, I go, this is where I think you should go. I give her like a list of 10 schools. These are great. I'm not saying like, 
you need to go here. Yeah. But, but that's the way it comes out because I'm a dude and I'm a, I'm a white dude in a house full uh. of women. And then, they're, and then they immediately shit on it. And they're like, dad doesn't know anything. And I'm like, hold on. And I literally had to say, by the way, this is borderline. Maybe we have to take this out, but this is true. Sure. I'll, I'll keep, keep it in. It's real. Okay. I said, your mom doesn't know anything about college. She went to West Georgia in Carrollton. She's been to two colleges her entire life, two college campuses. And, but that comes out as because she's a woman. Oh, right. And then, and then I'm fighting with the fact that I have performed at a thousand colleges. I've seen more college campuses than the average college recruiter. Like I've seen more college campuses than the average fucking NCAA football player. Like I've been to so many colleges that I know a good college campus and I know what you were looking for. And, but because I'm a man in a house full of women, I'm coming on. I, I, and, and because I have toxicity all over me oh, and, and I, and, and I'm saying <laughs> shit like I'm saying bad shit. What are you saying? I'm bad saying shit? bad shit that like I'm sure. Sh- I don't even know what it is, but Can I'm saying it. I, I will in your defense. I will say that, uh, I have always followed what the white guys have been doing. There's a reason because you guys are fucking successful. So I don't give a fuck if you're a white guy or whatever. If what you're doing is successful, I've always copied what you and Tom and Joe Rogan are doing. Oh, because well, <laughs> share that with my daughters. You guys are the white guys and you guys are in charge. So I don't I, care if you're the purple guys in charge. You I, know said, what I'm saying? I, I said this is getting into borderline where I got to stop I talking about it. I love it. Now, listen, but my like, audience, you guys are, you know, we're not fucking PC. Nothing yeah. in studio jeans is going to ruffle uh, no. feathers. Okay, go ahead. I, 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 said, I said something about Florida State because I, I, was, I was simply saying to a counselor, we're on a, a Zoom with a counselor, and they were like, what do you want in a, in a college? And Georgia was telling her all the stuff that she didn't want. And then I said, well, you know, she doesn't really know much about, I said, no one here really knows anything about colleges that does come off like a, a white dude going, is these bitches here? <laughs> these stupid women. And I was like, I was like, Leanne, go get me a turkey pot pie. The- <laughs> <laughs> and a beer. Yeah, but, but I was that's like, true. If you're the one that knows colleges, it just, I know. I saying. want Georgia. I really swear to God when I say this, I want Georgia to have the greatest college experience that she could ever have. I want her to have... I have the school for you. I, I, I want her to go to Boulder so bad. Boulder's good. I want her to go to Boulder Boulder's so good. bad. Can I want her to go to Boulder, Oregon. Can, can I tell you why I like these ideas? Why? Beta males. These are, these are regions full of beta males. You send her to Arizona, no go. This is, Ooh, then she's going to date yeah. her daddy. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, you got God it. <laughs> damn it, you're good. You send I want- her liberal. Hold on. So San Francisco... Most of the guys I went to school with were gay or bisexual. I love this. They're soft as fuck. They're not going to do weird stuff to Beta her. Beta males. Betas. So you're right. You're 100%. Boulder. I want her yeah. to bring Portland. home a dude who flinches when I talk. That's I'm what's like, up. so, and he's like, oh, sorry, Mr. Kreischer. <laughs> yeah. Wow, you're really putting those beers back, aren't you? <laughs> Georgia, look at this guy, huh? <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Liberal arts. Some guy with feelings. Maybe he's like an art student. Guy that walks up. He's like, Miss Kreischer, do you have a plug for my car? I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> but like, uh, you know, a guy who's like a lit, a literature major or something. Yeah, something like that. Because he's not going to be a dick. Can, Mr. Kreischer, can I use your restroom? I go one or two. And he goes, uh, I don't poop in strange places. I don't. I don't. I go to the bathroom at my house if that's what you're talking about. Yeah. It's a number one. Yeah. I'm offended. They're very sensitive. They know phrases like toxic masculinity and oh, non-binary. Oh, yeah. I want one of those shit. dudes yeah. that I can just walk all over. A hundred percent. That's what you want. Fucking just be like. Yeah. Okay. So basically any college that has Greek life, that's a no-no. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Good no, call. No, no, oh, no, I was no, walking no, her in no, the no, wrong no. direction. Yeah. What are you doing? So here's yeah. what you're going to do. My oh, school, University yeah. of San fuck, Francisco. Fuck guys like me. Yeah, that's the fucking problem. Oh, fuck guys like me. Yes. Liberal. So USF, good. There's like no no, no campus bullshit on there. University no of San Greek. Francisco, not University of South Florida. That's right. like a fucking that's a, hospital. That's different. No so offense if you go to USF. I just grew up around there and I was like. <laughs> not the party school. So no, no Arizona. Florida, Florida State, gone. Gone. I'd send her to Miami because that's like a nerd school. No, sweetie. But nope, that's Miami's in the city like a, of debauchery. You're going to send oh, her yeah, to Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Gamora. not going to fucking no. where Ra- Macho Camacho would disappear no. for five weeks. No, no. And no NYU. You don't want to put her in a city full of debauchery as well. And you want the flight home to be like an hour. 
please remind me to yeah. uh, from right there. No NYU. Tell me. Remind me at the, when we're done to tell push a joke. Okay. okay. I you know no NYU. No. I want her to go somewhere soft. You know what I like? Oh oh, UC Santa Cruz. Hippies. No grades. I sent her. I sent her. I swear to God, I sent yeah. her UC Santa Cruz. That's great. She, she wants to go somewhere that's cold, and I was like, what about mm. Fairbanks, Alaska? <laughs> No, 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 bad. High alcoholism. The a the women get of, beaten. A lot of dudes. I remember being in a I remember no, no, being no, no, in no. a in a boat with a bunch of dudes who were like No, it's dangerous. They were like real alphas. Yeah. And they were like talking shit about uh Sarah Palin's daughter and I was like, <laughs> I got offended. The retarded one? No, no, oh. Oh, no. No, wait, what? <laughs> Doesn't Sarah Palin have a retarded kid? No, I think her I don't know. I Grand her, kid. Her what? grandkids, the grandkids on the spectrum, I think. No, I think he's full, full retarded. Let me see. Trick. Sarah Palin is still hot. So hot. She was a beauty queen, really, right? She is. Like, can I tell you? I oh, can't. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> I have even better. Loyola what? Marymount. It's local. Oh my god. It's private, religious, nice nerds. Pepperdine, expensive, local, nice nerds. I want. I don't want her to. I don't but want that's her to too leave rich. Yeah, I, no, I don't want her to leave. I, I, I want her to go. Hold I want on. her to. G- pa- Sarah Palin on the ups and downs. <laughs> the ups and downs. <laughs> that they- is whoever wrote that is a dick. <laughs> that is a that is, by you, the way, you know what I, you were doing. <laughs> I will tell you at disability scoop dot com. You got to step up your fucking game, man. That's not cool. It is. We uh, got you. We understand <laughs> what you were trying to get. Say, Sean. Jesus. <laughs> Any hoodles. Local. Try to keep her local. Okay, so... Wait, I just... This is why I shouldn't read. I just read an articleable... (laughs) An articleable? Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going (laughs) to... When you can't say articleable... I just read an articleable... What was it? What was I... Just... I I just read Did you drink last night or did you... No, I haven't drank all month. How? uh, By the way, I think that's why my liver's good. (laughs) Wait, can I tell you... I was going to tell you what Dr. Drew told me. Because I was telling him that I do edibles every night, and he goes, oh, be careful, because you just have to keep increasing that dose. And I go, okay, so what if I alternate between drinking pot and pills? You know? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Mm. So just, for you, just so you know, like, if you're not drinking, then you can do pills or pot. I was telling you, I have a good come down recipe. Go ahead. It's, uh, so when, you, when I party hard on the road, <laughs> I ran this by a doctor, too. I was like, I was like just so you know, like, when I quit drinking, I, t- I, t- I like to take, like, a five milligrams of Xanax the first day I don't drink. <laughs> Wait, and, is this what you mean by a come down? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like, you just so, stop binge drinking? So, like, I I didn't realize I didn't realize how hard I party on the road. Like, I mean, I, I knew do, it, but yeah. it never really dawned on me until I realized I'm gaining 17 pounds at a time. <laughs> like, that's a lot to like put on just to go on the road. Yeah, but it's you know how easy it is to gain weight at our age. Like, <sighs> fucking, I eat like an apple at night, and the next morning I gain half a fucking pound. Hold on, did so you depressing. See, did you see what I made the other night? What do you mean? Don't let me forget my come down. <laughs> uh oh, he's wiping his I'm mustache. Gonna sh- I'm going to show you a picture. <laughs> so, did you watch my Instagram stories the other day? Le- uh-huh. Leanne made a Leanne made um, chicken noodle soup, mm-hmm. and it was dry as fuck. <laughs> a soup to make a soup that's dry. That's how bad of a cook she is. She made a dry chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Like everyone was like, it just there's no moisture in it. Yeah. And then she put it in the fridge, and all the noodles sucked up the moisture. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, yeah. and you were like, okay, so now there's no liquid in it. <laughs> so we just have noodles and chi- dry chicken. It's a dry pussy soup. Yeah, yeah dry pussy soup. So I, uh, <laughs> I said I'm gonna I'm gonna create something. By the way, I've never gotten more action off of any post than really? I did this. Really? Then the soup post, the pussy dry soup post. So I did. I'm going to show you a picture so that you can see okay, it. Show this to me. And then I have some very important th- stuff to get into from uh, Leanne's episode. I have many things to ask you. Now, there's a thing Leanne has that they have in the South called dressing. Dressing. Yeah, yeah but I heard. Uh, it's like, what it's is like, that? It's like, a, it's, like a, it's like stuffing, basically. Dressing. But it's done with chicken instead of turkey. And it's got like, it, it's it really is like her grandmother used to make it. It was like Ritz crackers. It was mm. really unhealthy. Yeah. But there was a, a taste to it that you were like, it was undeniably good. Like mm. when her grandma made dressing, you, everyone would get that first. Okay. And then it would go really quick. It was, it's just basically stuffing, but yeah. done a different way. I like so what that. I do is I take the chicken noodle soup. I put it in a food processor oh. and I grind it down. So it's like a, almost like a paste, but... A little thicker than a paste, where you can still see chunks. I like that. I then take more chicken, grill it, and I put shreds, big shreds of chicken inside it. Oh. I then take it. I take a a, a cast iron skillet. I butter oh. and garlic the edges of the cast iron skillet. I then pack this in like a 
like a casserole. I put breadcrumbs on top. What are you doing to me? This is my Butter on top. Put it in the oven. Cook it at 350 for 45 minutes. I pull it out and everyone in our house lost their fucking shit. It's chicken noodle casserole. Ugh. But Nadab, did you get the pictures? Uh, it hasn't come through yet. Are you fucking serious? I think oh, it's because it's a big empty file. subject. Hold on, there no, I just go. didn't. I did never hit send. <laughs> but wait, it sounds it's, so good. Tell me when you get it, <laughs> Nadab. Like, I never hit send. No, yeah, so, I'll, and, the, I'll, I'll and then I took I took breadcrumbs on top, lots of pepper and salt, mm. um, put butter on top of the breadcrumbs, threw it in the oven three, and everyone hit me up. They're like, "Yo, what is that?" Because it, first of all, it tasted amazing. Great crust because it's oh, in a I cast iron crust. skillet. Great crust on the outside on the bottom. Oh. I also took what I did to melt the butter is I put the cast iron skillet on low, mm. melted it, packed it in while it was still warming with garlic and butter and everything, all oh, the sides, packed it in, off. and I left it on low so that the cast iron skillet got good and hot as it went into this into the oven at 350. You've got like good fat guy instincts for cooking. Like this is, fat boy recipes. You should do like a fat boy recipe book. This was so good that I ate it again last night. Again last night I couldn't help it. I grabbed a scoop cuz Leanne made stew. Grabbed a scoop, put it under my stew oh. and put it on top of it was so Do you have a picture of it? Yep. Okay, oh look at the before God. and after. Go before first. How are you eating this shit? Though? It was so good. Okay, this is our kitchen. Okay. Um Where's the dry Is this the dry pussy well, soup? Yeah, this Oh, that's a skillet. Oh, look at all that butter, dude. Right? Look at that butter. That looks look at so that. good. I okay, like now you ready? Too. You ready? Now look at this. This is when it was done. <gasps> you that dirty bitch. look bitch. fucking amazing? Oh, my God. That looks yeah. fucking amazing. I like everything that looks and like that. And it tastes like chicken noodle soup. Oh, my God. You know how good t chicken noodle soup is? It tastes like chicken noodle Ugh. soup. We just every... I mean, we ate half of that, just me and the girls. And by the way, that's a meal. Like, you don't, like you got chicken, noodles, vegetables. Yeah, and you it's gain just all, like 20 pounds. There's 45,000 grams of fat, and it's a perfect meal. So much sodium. You, you eat that, you go to sleep, you wake up, you feel great. Okay. <laughs> You're burping all night. I, <laughs> so listen, I have some points here that I'd like to get to. Uh, okay. Finally... So Leanne was in here last week, and she gave me a lot of intel on how your mind works. Oh. Um, apparently, you and I are very similar, she said. I she think she saw the Two Bears, One Cave we did together oh and was God. like, oh, my God, I married Push. <laughs> I know. And Tom and Leanne are very similar. Yeah. And she goes, did you just call us dead inside? And I go, does that bother you? And she goes, not really. And I was like, because <laughs> you're dead inside. Yeah, she said it was very hard for her to get her feelings hurt. And I was like, gosh, I'm, I am not that way. But anyway, okay, I hear that you believe that you don't need to brush your teeth as long as you floss and use a water pick. Is this uh, true? Yeah. Okay. So you don't actually, do you use toothpaste? I don't like toothpaste. I, I have a, a really hard time finding toothpaste I like. I will say this. I'm sure there's a sponsor of this podcast at some point, but I do love um, the brush. Quips, Quips, Quips toothpaste. Are amazing. Quips toothpaste is good and Dr. Broner's. Yeah, Dr. Broner's has a black licorice toothpaste. That I actually love the taste you of. You like the flavor of black? I thought we were like. I, I don't started, like that. I started buying black licorice because of this toothpaste. Ugh. I used to use soap because I because what? I because I would just I don't know what. It what was do you thing mean I was you doing. use soap? Soap. Well, it, this is if we're gonna get very honest. I would throw my toothbrush into my backpack. And it would be at the bottom of my backpack, and I'd have to clean it with soap. Yeah. And so I'd clean it with soap, and then I'd just be like, "Fuck it," and I just gah, 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 gah. and uh, <laughs> and but I now I just I literally if you say my the thing I do every day is probably floss five times a day. I floss compulsively. compulsively. No, no, no. You really want to up your game? Get those sticks with the spurs on it. They're called GUM uh, and you oh, fucking. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I get in between. Yeah. I do that compulsively. It's so good. Uh, I floss and I water pick. I can't because of my veneers. It'll pop them off. If you have crowns and veneers, it's really bad for them. You're not supposed to. That's all I have. Oh, yeah. You're not supposed to water pick that. <laughs> That'll pop them right off, bro. But if you've been doing it, it's I've been it's doing been okay. it every morning. <laughs> every morning I get the water hot. I like hot water to clean out. I don't like cold water. I like hot water. Yeah. I got hot water and, and just you use. And then I love when you forgot to floss the night before and you and you had salmon or something and or then, swordfish uh, yeah. and you and you floss and you're like, oh my God, it smells like pussy in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a little flave left over. I yeah. used to, I, I, when I first started uh, water picking so <laughs> much blood came out yeah so much blood yeah. it was like but but you don't have to water pick you can do those things i'm telling you about and that's in the place oh of i that. have i have flossers spread out everywhere yeah to like everywhere i have them i like i buy <laughs> I, some there was a company that was nice enough to send me like 15 
thousand flossers. <laughs> Yeah. And so I just put them everywhere. I put them everywhere well, so that I, if I ever need one, I just, I know that if I reach into the, the cabinet by my bed, there's one. If yeah, I go to the cabinet by my recliner, there's one. If I go in my backpack, there's there's always in my backpack, everywhere there's flossers. Now, I just thought of something disgusting I do what? that I didn't even realize. Okay, I flo- okay, do it in bed and I, when I'm watching The Crown, I'll be like, take it out of my side and then I'll throw it on the floor. And that's how I know that one's dirty because it's on the floor. I can top that. They're never dirty with me. <laughs> I've used flosters so repeatedly Ew, that I've broken to. it. Oh, that's the best. What you do is Ew. you scrape it off with your tongue fingers. <laughs> you scrape the floss off with your fingers, all the dirt, and then you reuse it. I've done it where you used one and it no. broke. It's been used so much. No. You can afford fresh ones. Don't Dude, do that. I, p- I clean no. my own plaque off my teeth. You scrape it? I scrape my own yeah, plaque. I've if I get plaque, that. I scrape my own plaque. Yeah, I'm, I'm scrape fucking... It. Yeah, I don't even need to go to a dentist. <laughs> okay. Um, Nadav says I'm the most disgusting person at Studio Jeans. Like, in terms of... Oh, I think that <laughs> I might beat her on that. Maybe, th- maybe in general, but just from what I've seen, it's just there's no one that's as actively messy as Christina. I know what it is. It's that maybe it's that you still feel like a guest in the studio. Maybe that's why I haven't seen that side of you. Right. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. <laughs> I'll step up my gross game. No, 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 don't do that. I mean, messy, like Nadal will be like, nobody leaves their desk as filthy as you. Like, I'll have eggs, oh. hard boiled eggs in my drawer that have been there for weeks and weeks and smell. I'll leave papers and wrappers and shit. Like, oh. he's always like, your workspace is just disgusting. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm pretty gross in my house. I'm a little bit of a, if you go to my man cave right now, yeah. it is disgusting because it's just accumulating boxes and boxes. That's what Tom does. And too. I started smoking cigars in there, That's but disgusting. everything's in there. So like, and there are blankets that now smell like cigars. I got to clean that thing out. It smells like a foot. Yeah. Okay. So that's interesting. So you don't, but you don't like the taste of uh, toothpaste, but there's all kinds of flavors. You know, they have cinnamon, they have strawberry, chocolate. Uh, Too much flavor. It bothers me. Yeah. I like, you know, what I really like Mm. is I like just brushing with no, no toothpaste at all. Mm. And for some reason I can do that a lot easier. Or if I (gasps) use toothpaste, I can reuse that toothpaste from the next day and just go, ah. Oh, that's already on the toothbrush. Yeah, I like to really hurt myself when I brush. I like hydrogen like peroxide. I use Arm and Hammer baking soda to really, really like strip my teeth and get them real white. Like I like Aquafresh, the harsh kind. Like if it doesn't hurt, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Uh, yeah, Leanne just found out that she's been brushing too hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. But I like to have nice white teeth. Okay. You have great teeth. I know. You have great Thank teeth. You. And you and, and you and Tom's got real teeth. I know. And they're good for real teeth, but they're not as good as yours. They're not as good as mine. And I feel they could be whiter. I'm going to work on that after he gets his mobility well, back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So she said, what's really interesting about your dynamic with Leanne, if you could comment on this, is that you and I are not confrontational people. We don't. Mm-hmm. I don't like getting into fights. It's not my thing. But for some reason, you feel totally comfortable pushing back on Leanne, as Leanne does with you. Why is that? I have, you know, I was trying to figure out. I was trying to figure out our dynamic today. Like she, she, I have no idea. I really don't know. I, today I was, I was on the toilet. I was taking a shit mm. and she was just being a little bit of a cunt. And I said, I Hold thought, on. Does she, is she allowed to talk to you while you're shitting? Allowed to. It's like a town hall meeting. God, I wish Tom let me do that. He she won't literally let me talk. stands right in front of me as I shit and will start because she knows I can't leave. I had a joke about it. Yeah. I was like, I can't go anywhere. So she knows she's got me. I and I was like, that. luckily, my shitting face looks a lot like my listening face. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so sorry I interrupted. So she no. was talking to you. You were shitting today. And I said, I like being on her team because she is a bitch. Like, she is a bitch. And she, and I like being on a bitch's team because it's like she picked you. Like you got, oh, like right. you got on a, you got on the bad girls team, and I was like, I was like, I like that she's cool to me. Yeah, she can be a bitch to me a lot, but like, but I like being on her team. I was actually thinking of this this morning, huh. and I was like, I like that she's so aggressive about shit today. And and oh yeah, wait, that's kind of how I feel about Tom because people are afraid of him. And yeah, like, oh, I'm people afraid are afraid of Leanne. Like, Tom, yeah, and but I like knowing that like I'm his special one that he's not mean to. I like that. I like that. I like that people don't know Tom. Yeah. I love that I, people don't know him. Yeah. Like, I love that he just is very, he just is very private. So is Leanne. But yeah. like, I, and I think this is what we like about both of them <laughs> is that 
um, people will say stuff like, is Tom mad at me? Yeah. And then I'll go, <laughs> yeah. I'll go, actually, he doesn't know who you are. Yeah. It doesn't even think about it. And me. he's like, they're like, wait, what do you mean? And I was like, yeah. I go, Tom doesn't have a radar. Like he's not watching a lot of shit about comedy. He doesn't give a fuck about anyone's podcast. No. He doesn't give a fuck about like, I, there's a, there's a person, there's a person that's an article is written about today that, uh, that was, they were bragging about something, something that Tom is doing and Tom's doing it actually five times better mm. and and i know that the industry doesn't know that but i know that and so i was going to send tom the article and then i go oh tom doesn't give a fuck like the industry doesn't know that he's doing it five times better and he doesn't care that they know like there's a, it's a, it, 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 it's a confidence that i don't have oh, and, right. and, and i love i love that like i love i just told you i got a text where they're like uh tom broke someone's site because he tweeted something and i was like he doesn't give a fuck about that like and then his response is and I like that about Leanne too. Like she just shuts down and goes, what the fuck are we talking about? And you're like, well, I'm, I'm really wrapped up in this. And she goes, honey, you're way overthinking. Like she says that all the time. And I overthink things. I overthink things because I don't like confrontation. And I don't like to be in the middle of things. But I, but I can't. I get myself in trouble non-fucking-stop. Yeah. Yeah, because I think the difference between you and me, because I was talking to, about Leanne, is that you'll say the fucked up thought in your head, whereas I've learned over time to not say it. <laughs> because it's more yeah. trouble than it's worth for me, especially with Tom. I'll be like, I'm just not going to say shit. I'll just keep my mouth shut right now. No, I know. Uh, you know, it's so funny. Tom's the only safe place I have to say the fucked up thoughts. Yeah. Like, I, I, I when, when it comes to, like, there are certain things I don't, you know, it's so funny. That's because I've no, trained no, him but, well, no, but by you the know way. What? You know what? There He's is, heard my fucked up thoughts for 15 years. There was a so. time where I was afraid to tell Tell my fucked up thoughts. I remember oh. that. I remember that distinctly. Oh, he's been broken in. Oh, yeah. I remember when... Give me a pen. Yeah. Give me a pen. We were going... How come I'm so... I don't know. You're so weird. <laughs> Grab it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were going through... Me and him were going through that, that together. Thing. I think that's an ad. Don't... And Oh, sure. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I need that. And, uh... And we were going through that together, and there was a time where I I could tell that he was done talking about it, mm -hmm. and I was not done. Mm -hmm. And he was like, and you could tell, and I was like, all right, man, I gotta shift. I gotta learn to call him not with this, or at least learn to call him with something else and slide into this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like yeah. They don't suffer fools. Yeah, they yeah, don't, yeah, they yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like better. I suffer fools. I know, I'm, I'm still suffering idiot. one today. I walked in today and told you shit. I know. Okay, so. You remember arguments. Leanne says that you have an ability to remember arguments. Yeah, because... See, the problem with Leanne is that she doesn't drink, <laughs> so then she thinks that that means that she's always right. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. So, like, because I drink and I get upset <laughs> about stuff very quickly, she goes, well, that means that I'm right because Bert's drunk. Drunk, And I go, yeah. hold on, no. Yeah. That just means I don't... Like, I, I may, my argument's going to go all over the map on yeah, this. Yeah. But I know I'm right about certain things. That's the best thing about therapy is yeah. I started like logging all the times I was right. Oh, you oh, can yeah. do that? Oh, yeah. You can log all the times you're right in an argument? Uh, no, I started going like, he started saying, listen, when, th when this mm. happens, very, this is what you need to do. Because I, I was like, there, Leanne does this thing if I go, um, if I ask her something, like go, hey, perfect example. I was coming home from a meeting or a voiceover and I had a podcast that was starting and I needed, I only had like 15 minutes. Now I know that it takes 15 minutes for salmon to get out of the refrigerator to, to get to room temperature, to cook it in the oven so that you can get cook it medium rare the way I like it. I know that. Leanne doesn't know that, but I know that. And I know that if you don't do that, then what you get is either really raw or really cooked salmon. You don't get to find medium rare. So totally. you, need, you need it to get to room temperature. It takes 15 minutes. My ride is 15 minutes home. So I get in the car. She goes, how was, um, how was your voiceover? I said, it was, it was good. It was long. But uh, do me a favor. Can you run to the fridge and take out my salmon? And she goes, <sighs> and I went, okay, don't, don't. I'm sorry, don't. And she goes, what? And I go, what do you mean, what? She goes, what? I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. And I go, then don't do it. Don't do it because you, and she goes, I'm not doing anything. And so then I said to my therapist, I wrote it down. I said, this is what happened. And this happens a lot. And he goes, okay. Every time that happens. Don't call her on it. Write it down. Write it down and go, that happened this time. And then very calmly talk to her when she's not exhaling. When she's not exhaling, <laughs> talk to her and say, hey, just so you know, you make me feel like I'm crazy because 
I say these things, you exhale. And then you tell me you didn't exhale, but I heard you exhale and I'm very sensitive to it. So I wrote down a list of when it happened within like a three day period. I, I very calmly said to her, listen, I need to talk to you about you exhaling when <laughs> you, th and you know what she did? She went, oh. and I went, <laughs> okay, you did. just She's did like, it right oh, there. And God. she goes, I'm doing it because it's exhausting. And I go, but you admit you do it. She goes, I, I, I don't know that I do it. And I go, okay, that's our problem. I said, listen, but my, my, this therapy, oh my God, do you know what I did last night? Hmm. This is, uh, this is when Georgia said, can I go to his house? I'm in therapy because I'm not handling, I'm not handling things right. She, and then she goes, it's not fair. Dad gets to do podcasts. Old school Bert would have been like, hey, how about this? How about you don't get fucking braces? Do you like that? Like that, that's where I went. And then I went, I took a deep breath and I walked in and I went, I understand that you're frustrated. And I, I handled it perfectly. Wow. It's like an, a, a grown up would do that. I handled it perfectly. I handled it so fucking perfectly. And I said, I'm I'm a very creative thinker and I can think of a workaround for you. And <gasps> I will find a way for you to be able to hang out with your friends so you don't just hang, hang, hang out with us, but that it's safe. Do you understand that? Mm. She went, yes. But then of course I couldn't just go, all right, we all good? I had to be like, "Has did anyone notice how I handled that? <laughs> And you have to get credit. I yeah. agree. I'm and the I, same way. I'm like, did you fucking notice how awesome that was? Yeah. And, I didn't and do then, the thing I normally do. And then Leanne's it's really like, good. Leanne's like, you did handle that pretty good. I go, hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Can anyone notice that I wasn't handling it good before? I went into therapy by my own self. Yeah. I now can handle it well. Can anyone notice my growth? <laughs> Like, and I was like, I need more than that. And George is like, you did a good job. And I was like, that's not enough, motherfucker. I know. What? I, I was, I, I demand so good. I demand, I think you did too, by the way. That was really good. That's really mature, especially for a man your age. That I went to therapy. It's huge. It's I, huge. My dad never went to therapy. And, and by the way, Leanne, when she was on the show, gave you full credit for that. And she did she did, really? She absolutely did. And she praised you and go, that is not easy for Bert. And he did it. And I'm really proud of him. Oh, she so gave you full, full credit. So just know that she, she acknowledges. Yeah. I wonder if it has anything to do with not drinking too. Oh, clarity. Yeah. Uh, well, cause you're feeling your feelings and those are uncomfortable. And then you have to be like, ugh, I can't just get drunk or get high or whatever. What's it's, that feeling? It's and then so easy to just sucks. get drunk and not have feelings. I know it's so much better. You know, my therapist said it's because I don't, um, I don't get breaks, but normally when I'm drinking, that's my break. Like I oh, go, right. I go, I'm going to tap out guys. It's a reward, yeah. I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> you guys happy? Everyone's good. All right. That's good too. Yeah. And now I'm in the moment. Oh, I wonder how long I can quit. Moments drinking. are so long. Right. <laughs> can you, can I tell you when, you, when, when Tom got hurt and you were like, I'm having a glass of wine. Yeah. I was standing next to a bottle of wine going, what the fuck am I doing? Like, this thing makes no sense. Like, if I'm, I, why am I being sober through this? I had so many uncomfortable feelings I had to get through. I was waking up. I was waking up. That's why I went to the doctor and got a full blood panel, full fucking CT scan, full EKG, full everything. Yeah. Because I was like waking up going, I, I, I got fucked up about this. Is that they came in and they said to Tom, do you drink? And he went, no. And he didn't lie. <laughs> no, he I know. He didn't lie. <laughs> I know. He Do doesn't. you smoke? And he said, no. No. And they're like, "How are you having any, on any medications? And he went, no. And I kept thinking, if that was me, I would have Tom next to me going, do you drink? And I go, a little bit. And, and he would have been like, <laughs> and I would have been like, do you smoke? And I was like, cigars every day. Like, and so I was like, I need to get healthy. Thank God I'm the healthiest of the two of us. Can you believe that I'm going to live longer than he is? That, that is not true. I think it is. That is not true. Now that he's addicted to oxy, he's pretty heavy. <laughs> he's not addicted to oxy. They're, they weaned him off already. He's they weaned not. him. And he had, I heard he sucked a nurse's dick. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, come on, man. Please. I can't. You got to bring your dick to me. But yeah, come on, man. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? I, I would I would still be on oxys for the record. Oh, that's what I was thinking. I'd be so scared to even try on those things. I'd be like, oh, fuck. He, told, he texted me last night, and he's like, just off oxys, off narcotics together. If it's been a few days. And I I wanted to text and go, now's when you'll feel it again. <laughs> <laughs> Get one now, and you'll be like, oh, that's a party. <laughs> Thanks, Bert. Um, <laughs> is there anything else you want to share? We're gonna I'm going to wrap this up right Let's now. Let's see. Is there anything else? You have a, you said no NYU to tell me a joke. Is that no, off camera? No, it's off, off camera, yeah. Uh, your come down recipe, that was it. We covered that. Come down recipe. It's a one, it's, by the way, it also works good for diets. Um, oh, yeah. yeah I'm can on I tell one you, of those I, constantly. Can I tell you, I'm being serious. If yeah. you take a Xanax at like 6 p.m. before dinner, yeah. you'll fall asleep 
before you eat. <laughs> and then you'll wake up skinny as fuck. And if you do that, you won't get addicted to, to benzos if you do that for a full week. And you can drop 20 pounds. Sounds I like dropped, a plan, I dropped 17. Thanks. I dropped 17. That was my diet. Yeah, but you're one of... Okay, yeah, but you're you're like... Okay, no offense. Come off drinking, come off drinking. Yeah. Take a Xanax at like 6 p.m. No dinner. Okay. No dinner. Thanks and for then you Chrysler. sleep. And then wake up, take a Xanax again, 6 p.m. You de- you just, you're just going to be so hungry. But that Xanax kills that. And then you gotta, then the next week you got to slowly wean yourself off. And then, and you then you go into your, so your pill. Great. Every time you take a half of Xanax, you, then there's one day where you got to eat your other halves that are just even. They're not really halves. <laughs> they're, they're half of halves. By the way, I would love to pour my Xanax on a table and you just see the fucking when i go i'm just gonna take half and you see that i break off just like a little eighth of it and i'm like that's half <laughs> i want to try edibles and see if that works for me yeah why don't you try them i'm scared i have some for you for real uh-huh, are, they, are they are they are they i bought some for you no they're very mild i really? literally bought some for you for real thank you so much for joining i, love, was, you, and I, I love you so much and just know that leanne adores you and you guys are really ama- amazing couple and thank you both for coming on and divulging your marital secrets it was super fun hey if if it helps anybody i cannot wait i'm going to talk to the girls and i cannot wait to concoct a plan for ellis for santa claus <gasps> this year Let's, we're doing it we're going to do the call will you do the call on oh, christmas eve oh, that would be super fun oh, oh. i have his list and and then the best will be you can change my name to santa claus yeah so anytime i call he's like <gasps> In July. <laughs> How did I do that? Santa texted you and said he's drunk and he needs an Uber number. <laughs> I love you, Bert. Love you Thank too, Thank you so Bert. much. Until next time, stay cool, moms. Bye. Where my moms, where my moms, where my moms at? Where my moms wearing thongs, hitting bongs at? Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my moms, where my moms, where my moms at? Where my moms at podcast. With Christina P.